Hey YouTube, Nurse Mark here. So it's coming up to summertime and some of us might be trying to lean out. I know I am. And uh, there's nothing quite as nice as a nice cold beer or cocktail in the sun. But weight loss and alcohol don't exactly go hand in hand. So how can we approach alcohol and weight loss and how does alcohol affect weight loss? Now it's no mystery that alcohol derails weight loss. There's a lot going on in your body when you drink alcohol other than you start having more fun and it tastes absolutely delicious. First, you gotta kinda understand alcohol. So alcohol is about seven calories per gram, which puts it just shy of fat at nine calories per gram. The difference between fat and alcohol, though, is your body can't use those alcohol calories for jack, all right? So they're often called empty calories because they're nutrient-devoid nutrient, nutrient devoid calories and your body can't use them as an energy source. So alcohol calories are useless and the body sees it as a toxin. So your body will preferentially try to eliminate that alcohol in your liver before it consumes or uses any other calories that you're taking in. So what I mean by this is when you drink alcohol and you take in a meal, your body doesn't really attack those calories from that meal you're taking in while it's still trying to fight that alcohol you just drank. So it will still digest that food you just ate though. So what is it gonna do with that food calories? Well, it's gonna store it as body fat because it can't use it because it's too busy fighting the alcohol. In another video, I'm gonna talk about alcohol and binge eating. But for this video, when you're out drinking, and you want to eat something, your body is still trying to preferentially eliminate that toxin. So it's not taking in any other calories or it's not utilizing the calories that you have appropriately. So your body sends signals to your brain that says, hey, you need to take in calories now because as far as I'm concerned, we have nothing running in our system. So that leads to burgers and nachos. So alcohol also causes systemic inflammation. Anywhere that water goes in your body, alcohol goes too. Hint, that's everywhere. So when you do a heavy night of drinking and you wake up all bloated and disgusting, well, that's because alcohol causes systemic inflammation everywhere. And then you notice how that entire day, all you do is kind of pee out that water weight. You ever go on a diet where you stop drinking and you lose like 10 pounds in two weeks? It's all water weight from systemic inflammation. Alcohol is actually really bad for your system. Lastly, if you're in a calorie deficit and you're trying to slim down and lose some body fat, well, guess what? Your body's not gonna be breaking down while you're consuming alcohol, right? So anytime we consume alcohol, it's gonna stall that fat metabolism until it's done fighting off that alcohol. So it sounds like alcohol is the absolute worst thing for fat loss, and it kinda is. But I'm not gonna stand here and be a hypocrite and say that you shouldn't drink, cause I don't. But my point is, you can still drink and lose weight, you just gotta kinda keep it in check. If you are trying to lose weight, stay away from high calorie drinks. We talked about how those calories that you intake still get digested, but they get stored as body fat cause your body is fighting that alcohol. So. God damn, I love a Bahama Mama in the summer on a beach somewhere, but that's like a day's calorie in a drink. A delicious drink, I might say, but it's not great for you because it's full of sugar and crap. The other thing is beer. <laughs> beer. I love beer. I absolutely adore beer. I just showed you my beer. But the problem is, is beer also contains a lot of calories. It's going to cause a lot of bloating, kind of counterintuitive to uh, your weight loss goals. So stick to stuff like vodka sodas or simple ingredient drinks where you're not taking in a bunch of extra calories from sugar and other crap. And when you're out drinking, try to do a ratio of one alcoholic beverage to a glass of water. And when you get really drunk, that goes right out the window. I do all the time, but I try to start at least. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna help flush out some of that uh, systemic inflammation that we talked about by keeping your kidneys moving to kick out all that crap that you're taking in. Now, there aren't technically any good alcohol choices. There are just not as terrible alcohol choices when you're trying to lose weight. That's it, boys and girls. Alcohol is gonna derail your weight loss, but if you're smart or sensible about it, it's not gonna destroy everything that you're doing. Just be responsible. Like and subscribe, questions and comments down below, and as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.